Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't heard, the graphics company Flowix has joined the VizRT group. So what does that mean for TriCaster operators? Well, it means that through the Live Link feature, you can now integrate to a whole new powerful way of creating and using live graphics. The web-based tools of Flowix mean you need no dedicated hardware, and it only takes a few moments to set everything up for your show. The graphics are just the beginning. Uh, with powerful data and social media integration, the Flowix workflow will bring additional storytelling capabilities to your TriCaster productions. So, let me show you how it's done, son! Alright, so I'm on my standalone PC that I am running Flowix off of. Now, what's awesome about Flowix is it is web-based, so I can run this off of a PC or a Mac, doesn't matter. Uh, it's a web-based graphics generator that you can deploy from anywhere. And I want to show you the workflow of getting these graphics into TriCaster via LiveLink. Now, if you want to learn more about how to use Flowix, I highly recommend checking out their tutorial videos on Flowix.com because there is a bunch. If I went all of the, <laughs> over all of that today, that would take me a few hours. So uh, I just want to show you how to bring these graphics into the TriCaster via LiveLink. Okay? So this main page is the scene page, which will allow you to build and customize uh, graphics, along with being able to turn these graphics on and off. So for example, over here on the left, you'll see that I have options for out and in, and if I click those, you'll see different elements will start to come on and off screen, etc. So this is kind of the uh, the uh, the nuts and bolts, the the where you can do a lot of detailed actions within. Uh, uh, the uh, scene generator here. Okay, now uh, there are other ways to uh, uh, to control this. Uh, the one of them is going to be by using the remote. So if you go to the top of the URL and click on Open Remote, this will open a new tab, and gives you a more uh, streamlined or, uh, version of the uh, uh, scene generator over here. And still the same thing. It allows you to bring elements on and off, uh, and then also you can. Uh, go through and quickly change the text. So like for example, right now that one says Amsterdam. Let's go ahead and change that and we'll make that say San Antonio. Just where I am. Click on update and that will update the graphic there. So there you go, up in the top. Bring the on and off screen however you want. I'm just kind of <laughs> playing around here because <laughs> this is really cool. Okay, so these are some of the graphics that we were playing around with uh, when we were going to IBC. And uh, now what I want to show you is now how to bring these graphics into your TriCaster, the important part. Okay, so if you go to the top of the screen here, you'll see that there's an option for open output, and that gives you a full screen of what the uh, graphics are going to look like. So for example, I just have that exclusive up here, but if I go back over to my remote, I'll change that to live, and then you'll see that updates like that. So a cool little animated graphic. All right, so what's really cool ab uh, about uh, using these graphics is with the newest updates to our TriCasters, you can bring this in via LiveLink. So the recommended workflow that I, uh, that I suggest on here is to have uh, Flowix open and then also have uh, NDI Studio Monitor open so you can connect to your TriCaster so you can easily uh, copy and paste information uh, back and forth uh, to your, from, your tri from, sorry, <laughs> from your PC or Mac into your TriCaster, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do up here is I'll grab the URL just simply by copying it. Right, and now I'll go to my TriCaster, and to get to the Live Link feature, you'll go to one of your buffers here at the bottom of the screen. Click on the plus button, and this media browser is normally where you would go to load in uh, different animated buffers or images, etc. But uh, with the latest update, you'll see that there is an option for a web browser. So if I click on that, that will now allow me to bring in. A URL. So I basically just pasted what I have uh, from my uh, Flowix controller here. I'll click on OK. And now that is loaded into my buffer. And so now all I really have to do is just bring those graphics on screen uh, by bringing them into a DSK here. So for example, I have DSK1. That is set up with my buffer one right now. Let's go ahead and bring that on. And now you'll see there is that live bug that I, I had generated off of Flowix. So if I go back over to my PC now, uh, I can now 
bring those elements on and off simply by doing that with the magic of Flowix TriCaster via Live Link. There's so much you can do with this. So uh, you can make full screen graphics um, or lower bugs. You can even do some uh, social media integration in here, bringing RSS feeds, so much stuff you can do with this. Uh, but you can control it all from the Flowix side and simply load it into a buffer and you're off and running. So this is just a taste of some of the awesome things you can do with Flowix. To find out more, visit the Flowix website at flowix.com. Also, current TriCaster users can get a free trial of Flowix by going to our website, newtech.com, and clicking on the free trial link. You can also find more helpful tutorial videos like this one by subscribing to the NewTek YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtekinc. You can also get professional NewTek product training by visiting NewTek University, which you can find at newtek.com slash newtech u. Also, if you're a TriCaster operator, make sure to submit your work for the upcoming NewTek TriCaster Director of the Year Awards for your chance to win some cool NewTek gear. And you can find out more details about submitting your work at newtech.com slash T-D-O-T-Y. Also, to find out more information about NewTek products and services, you can contact your local reseller or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you're posting your work with NewTek products on social media, make sure you tag us using the hashtags NewTek, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love seeing what y'all are up to. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of NewTek Tuesday Tutorials.